In the wake of this uh, shooting, the second such crime to happen this week alone, we take a look at what caused these gunmen in these cases to open fire and whether new police measures on gun control will be enough to prevent a copycat crime. Connie Kemp tells us more. Two deadly shootings in two days in a country where such crimes are rare. What's even more alarming is the assailants in both these cases targeted people who are close to them, which brings into question their underlying motivation. When people's needs or wants are not realized or achieved, anger is likely to build up within them and it could be let out in a very violent way. Korea has rapidly become a capitalist society with people wanting more but are unable to control their anger at the same time. To prevent another such shooting from happening, police are pushing to tighten gun ownership regulations. Individuals with a history of violence will be prohibited from owning guns, and gun license renewal periods will be cut to three years. However, some analysts doubt the new measures will be effective in preventing future incidents. Gun shootings like this happen when people cannot control their emotions. It's hard to predict whether or not a gun buyer will potentially turn violent. Experts say the new set of regulations may temporarily ring alarm bells, sending a message that trying to get a gun won't be so easy. But they say what's more important are fundamental measures, such as providing easier access to personal counseling, in order to prevent a third or fourth copycat shooting from occurring. Connie Kim, Arirang News.